Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your friend, I call X, and today I want to discuss that there has been some drama or so on the PC gaming community, and this drama includes the Epic Game Store. Yes, that's right. There has been some bait and switch tactics that's been going on, especially with the publisher Deep Silver, who've done about two bait and switch tactics, I believe. First with Metro Exodus, and now they've done it with Shamu 3. I mean, everybody was looking forward to Shamu 3, especially the PC gamers. I mean, they put money into the Kickstarter and were expecting Steam keys. Now they're gonna get Epic Game, game Store keys. I mean, who doesn't like the Epic Game Store? Yay! Hey, that just means more competition for Steam. I mean, come on Steam, get your act together. This can be a good and a bad thing actually. I mean, short term, sure. It might it might work out for the developer and the publisher. I mean, and, but the long term for the publisher and the developer, no. This kind of tactic, try to sell software to a publisher or a software distributor that's going to give you a bigger revenue cut. I mean, that's, that's why these publishers from AAA Studios, or, and, and a couple indie studios, they're going over to the Epic Games Store because they off, Epic Games offers a much higher revenue split. And, you know, that, that really sucks that some are, you know, they're used to the Steam Store buying their PC games from there. And, you know, I really don't mind having Origin you play, you play from Ubisoft, Battle.net from Blizzard, also Activision is on there too. Then there's GOG, who's owned by CD Projekt Red. And personally, I'd rather support GOG than uh, just to like stay stuck to like one platform on the PC. I mean, GOG, they, they deserve my money more than, uh, sorry, they just... They just deserve my money more than any other, like, software distributor on the PC. Since GOG has the DRM-free software. Meaning, you can actually share the, the software you bought with your friends. I know I'm going off topic right here, but you know what? I only bought one game off the Epic Game Store. I'm pretty guilty as <laughs> anyone who wants to buy games and is a sucker. Or just buy just buys games in general and is a sucker. But you know what? I took advantage of the sale that was on the Epic Store because, dude, World War Z was pretty much half off. Well, almost half off anyway. They raised the price after uh, the developer got angry. But you know what? That, that's what you get when you sign up with sign up an Epic exclusive deal with Epic Games. Yeah, you're in the, and okay, I think Steam done this first. When they had their first sale, that like they didn't notify the developer and the publisher. So this in turn made the developer and the publisher raise the prices during the sale. And it's like Thank God I got World War Z before they raised the price on that game. I'm sure like I haven't played the game yet. But I do plan to, if I could find some people, especially my viewers, you guys, to play with. Anyway, in the end, I know I went all over the place. In the end, um, short term, this will work out. But long term, I really don't see this being sustainable from the, I mean, in the PC gaming community. Either way, we, the consumers, well, sometimes we win, other times we just lose. I mean, the developer is hurting too on this end, if you think about it. The publisher, they're gonna get away with it, and it makes me sad. It makes all of us sad. Eh, anywho, just wanted to get this off my chest. Hope you liked this video. Please hit that like button if you liked this video. And hit that subscribe if you want to see some more videos in the future. Otherwise, 
Love you all, miss you all, and uh, I will see you next time I make a video. God bless, and see you soon. Peace.